Hi Auto News. Today I'm back in Chiang Mai again to review the Ford Ranger V6 diesel. But before checking out the video today, don't forget to support our channel by clicking the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to be notified of our latest reviews. Thank you very much. for this truck so uh, this is my slot I get to drive on the off-roading part of uh, the day well uh, let's start talking about the new engine in the Ranger uh, since it was launched the engine really uh, was carried over from the last version the 2 liter bi turbo engine and the 10 speed automatic of course they've been uh, improved and retuned and all sorts of stuff has been done to improve the durability and performance but uh, at the end of the day uh, a lot of people are asking for more engine power and torque that's one of the reasons why Ford is expanding its Ranger lineup in Thailand uh, so apart from the 2.0 bi-turbo engine and the V6 3 liter petrol engine in the Raptor now we get this v6 diesel turbo according to the specs this v6 diesel turbo pumps out 250 horsepower at 3750 rpm as well as a whopping 600 newton meters of torque from 1750 to 2250 rpm so 500 uh, rpm uh, the torque range and that's a flat torque as well so uh, lots of pulling power from this engine although you get so much power and torque from this uh, 3 liter diesel turbo one thing you gotta be aware of is that the fuel economy is it's not gonna be as good as the smaller 2 liter engine right so the engine is like a thousand cc more so 50 percent larger so according to the official eco sticker the average fuel economy of this ranger v6 diesel is roughly 11 kilometers per liter but you know what uh, in real world driving i don't think you're gonna get that unless you are driving like you know long distance maintaining a smooth uh, cruising speed if you drive this in the city or you start like you know stepping on it could get it you know below 10 kilometers per liter for sure oh wow we got some water in front nice but just a bit hope we get this on the camera i'm not sure just a little bit of water yeah say hi There's also not much difference between this uh, variant and the top wild track uh, in terms of exterior. 
exactly the same except for the wheels. This one gets a larger wheel and tires as well as some uh, special exterior lighting functions. So uh, not much difference exterior at all. And, and of course the V6 badging. <laughs> In terms of interior, same thing, uh, not much difference, it's basically the same except for the e-shifter and uh, you can change gears manually with buttons on this side of this e-shifter but uh, you don't get shift paddles on the steering wheel like the Raptor. According to Ford the suspension, springs, dampers, everything is uh, the same, identical to the Ranger Wild Track. So uh, don't expect any uh, improved uh, handling over those models. But of course, uh, still no match against the top Raptor variant. That one's got like super suspension. In terms of braking, also get four-wheel disc brakes, just like the Wild Track. Inside the cabin, basically same as the lower Ranger variants, which is good because you get a fully digital driver display up here, as well as a huge center touchscreen, this tablet style. The only pickup in the market with such a huge center screen over here and uh, for those who like to look at all these screens I don't really like to look you know it's just a distraction from driving but uh, you do get all sorts of information off-roading information the angles this and that we're still into wheel drive still because what's the point of putting it in four four wheel drive and you don't need it it's a waste of energy uh, Fuel consumption will increase when you switch from 2 to 4. While the 4 wheel drive system in some other trucks either they either split up the drive forces between front and rear like a set uh, ratio whether it's like 40 60 or 30 70 50 50 the four wheel drive system in the Ranger is able to vary the torque split between front and rear from 0 to 100 so totally variable torque split to suit a wider range of uh, situations Another uh, improvement over the regular version is the off-roading uh, drive modes. Apart from the normal and eco drive modes, uh, this one also comes with a sort of a terrain control. So there are special uh, presets for driving on mud ruts or on sand, uh, stuff like that. But uh, the rock crawl uh, preset from the Raptor is not offered so uh, just a small uh, cut back from the top Raptor version but according to Ford officials you can uh, switch into mud ruts and enjoy some some help from the system just like uh, if you would get from the rock crawl uh, setting well uh, I guess today we'll be able to try it out uh, but it might not be a uh, heavy off-roading today, maybe just some light off-roading on some uh, gravel roads right now. I'm still driving in too high, so uh, not even 4 high or, or 4 A or 4 L, 4 low. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get into 4 low today, but for sure uh, we'll be enjoying some Nice motoring in this one. The first thing is that the engine, I mean, uh, although it's a diesel engine, this V6 from Ford, this one's developed from UK, so it's not an American engine at all. This is a Euro 5 spec engine. And this one is uh, offered in the Ranger that's uh, 
exported to Australia, New Zealand, uh, South Africa. So in those markets, they're very uh, crazy about large uh, V6 diesel. So this engine has been offered over there for a long time already. I think since 2018, 2019. So still being used in this new uh, generation. But uh, in my point of view, it's pretty good, you know, the noise and vibration is super low, very low. This, this feels like very high quality uh, uh, premium diesel engine, not just a pickup engine. So before arriving in this uh, environment, we were driving on smooth roads and this one is really comfortable on smooth roads. Uh, low wind noise, low engine noise, low engine vibration, the suspension is nice and firm while being comfortable as well steering is very light at low speeds and you know builds up to a nice beefiness at higher speeds and if you use all these uh, off-roading functions the engine mapping as well as the steering resistance is also adjusted Okay, so that wraps up our review of the Ranger V6 diesel. So if you like our video today, please support us by clicking the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to be notified of our latest reviews from Thailand. Sawadee